Some the computer security world is scrambling after the revelation of a very different bug that many say has dangerous potential. It's called the bash bug or shell shock, a tiny flaw in a simple program used in a vast array of devices that allows a hacker to take control. The CBC's Ron Charles has more. The latest security warning to computer users sounds particularly dire. A 10 out of 10 on the risk scale of the U.S. Homeland Security Department's Computer Emergency Readiness Team. A vulnerability that could allow hackers to easily take control of many web servers and Apple computers. It's called the Bash Bug, named after the part of the Unix operating system at the center of the problem. Cybersecurity expert Claudio Popa has already set up a website about it. So the average users have to be concerned. But even non-Apple users who have devices that are internet connected or are somehow remotely um, uh, manageable need to worry about this. By remotely manageable devices, he means those thermostats and light bulbs that are controlled by smartphones. Even internet routers and webcams can potentially be taken over by hackers because many of them use Bash. Already, some experts are calling the bash bug more dangerous than April's heartbleed bug. That bug, involving a different part of Unix, exposed dozens of popular websites to major security breaches. It allowed a hacker to allegedly access hundreds of social insurance numbers on Canada Revenue Agency computers. What experts find more frightening than that is the potential for hackers to not just look at what's on a computer, but also take control of the machine. Anything goes once you're inside those computers. The most concerning thing that can happen as a result is for your data to be modified or to be corrupted without your knowledge. He expects companies to release a flood of software updates over the next few days to address the bug. Right now, several security websites offer a test you can cut and paste into your Apple computer's terminal program. If you get this result, well, that's not good. Ron Charles, CBC News, Toronto.